Another tool we use is, is called a transcranial direct current stimulator. It's different than the alternating current that we saw with the Fisher-Wallace unit. This unit here that we use is called the Brain Driver, uh, TDCS. And um, one of the things that's different between this is that with this current, it is a little bit more, um, a, a little bit stronger, and you feel a little bit more. And it also needs a saline solution. So something like, you know, you can go get saline solution from the, uh, the drugstore or something that you use for contact lenses, or you can make your own. And then again, you wet them, you wet these pads like you would with the Fisher-Wallace unit. And like I said before, we wanna make sure that basically we squeeze all the water out so that it's wet needs to be wet enough, but not, you know, too wet. We don't want to, you know, have water dripping down someone's face or the patient's face. The transcranial direct current um, we use in a very specific way. It's a little bit more specific in what it does versus the alternating current. The anode, again, which is the red electrode and the black cathode, uh, this is positive and this is negative. So what we see is that when we place this one place, we will activate the brain cells underneath. And when we place this in an area, we will inhibit the brain cells underneath. So this literally can help to create balance between different areas of the brain and different networks. Again, when we're placing them on the head, we're using the Broadman map as to where we're gonna place them for different issues and different conditions. If we have a right brain deficit, we're using the red on the right side to raise it up and the black on the other side. We almost always use these in a balancing way so that whatever Broadman area or area of the brain we're stimulating on this side, we're doing the exact same area on the other side. And we're going to keep it that way, okay, until we're done. Now, this, like I said, is a little bit stronger and so it tends to be a little bit more irritating. So with children, we have to be, we have to proceed, you know, slowly. Um, if you don't put saline on this, it can literally feel like it's kind of almost burning your skin. So it has to be saline, not just regular water. When we put these pads on in the same way with a headband, we then turn this unit on with this on and off button here. And as it comes up, there's a timer, there's output, and then there's the minutes. So the output is the milliamps that it puts out. Obviously, the stronger the milliamps, the more they feel it. So, you know, we generally may start um, at 1 or 1 1.5. We use this arrow here that will make this go up and down. But ultimately, we want, we want to get to 2 milliamps to get the maximum benefit. The button on this side here is for looking for bringing it down. So if we want to bring down the milliamps, we use this arrow. We want to bring up the milliamps, we use this arrow here. When this has a T on the button for time, and it has a choice of 20 or 30 minutes. So again, depending on what time we're prescribing it for, we may use it for 20 minutes or for 30 minutes. Um, if we're coordinating it with other things, again, we want to be able to keep it, uh, if we're doing everything for 30 minutes, we would set it for 30 minutes or for 20 minutes. When it shuts off, there's a sound, just like there is with the Fisher-Wallace. There's a little beep, and it lets you know, and it, it shuts down. And then you hit the button and can start it up if you want to do it for more than 30 minutes. The timer is part of the T. Uh, the, it again, is up there, and it, and it will, will show that. Once this is set, then we push this arrow button here, which is the start button, and then we can turn it on. And now what will happen is the timer should ta start to count down. So we know that it's working because we will see the timer uh, start to go down. And and then we're all set from there, okay? So we can set the milliamps, uh, which is equivalent to the, the circles or the lights that we saw in the Fisher-Wallace. We set the timer, and um, 
then we can uh, just start it and stop it, okay? So this is uh, the transcranial direct current stimulator.